I haven't watched the original show, so, you know, I, I can't really compare or say if something was left out or, you know, I, I can imagine that it's, it's, um, I mean, just by virtue of the fact that it's longer, you know, it's, I think it's like a mini-series or something, so, you know, it's got more time, so it can develop the, the you know, the story and the ideas more, um, so I can imagine that it's, it's superior. Also, you know, it got a remake, so it must have had some potential. I thought the, the thing about, um, PTSD being, like, you know, phony or something, that was bullshit. I'm sorry. Um, maybe it doesn't affect everyone, um, I can imagine that, and it, you know, depends on your personal constitution, depends on how much action you see, depends on what exactly happens if you lose a close friend, if you get a Dear John letter, but I'm sorry, PTSD is fucking real, and I, I don't know who added that, I don't know if that was a producer, if that was, you know, a writer, I don't know. I'm not going to accuse anyone of, you know, for, but I'm sorry, that's bullshit. Is it just me, or did a lot of the guys that um, Mel, you know, finds, scowls at, and points a gun at, or threatens or something, hyperventilate? I mean, it, I just, I don't think I've seen one movie where so many people hyperventilate. Was it, I, I guess it's supposed to show that they're like, you know, really terrified and, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to signify that they're like weak, cowardly, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. That knife fight, or knife fight, you know, the, the fight where the one guy has the knife, that was just completely superfluous. It added nothing other than an early action scene. And it was just... I mean, I mean, they could have showed that he was, like, really anxious and not... Um, not very trusty, trusting in other ways, you know. I also thought that that guy was maybe, like, the one case where... I mean, even the kid was a pretty convincing actress. Um, that guy... I don't know. It could have been that... It could have been the fact that he had to play, like, really high-strung and, and, you know, tense all the time, but, yeah, I can't quite decide if I, if it was, like, a bad performance or if it was just almost funny because he's just constantly tense. You don't see a second of him on screen where he's not tense, except for once he's been shot. Then he's kind of chilling. About the, the fight... I did find it funny how right after Mel's kind of uh, leaning up and just taking a breather and showing his age a little bit. That was a little bit funny. Um, not certain it was meant to be, but that was a little bit of just like real life, you know, after something like that, a guy of that age would probably need to... I also actually went into it thinking that he was a retired cop. But, you know, it, um, I, I don't know, I guess probably because of his age. I don't know exactly how old he is, but he looks like he could be retired. I don't know. Again, as long as he's this good, you know, I enjoyed watching him, and I, you know, I sympathized with his character, um, mostly. Then there's the, um... The fact that they're pretty sloppy, um, you know, Bennett and the others in cleaning up, I don't know. Maybe that's nitpicking, otherwise we wouldn't have a movie, and most of them kind of do, you know. it's They always do somewhat leave a trail, and I guess with Jetberg it sort of makes sense that people... Or maybe not, I don't know, but, you know, they... they for all the opportunities that they had, and for how risky it was, they still shot people. I mean, the, the you know, the guy who um, was um, the, the nervous knife guy, 
he was, you know, shot with what has to be a very small caliber because it just made the tiny little hole. I mean, was there even a wound on the other side of his head? I don't think so, but maybe I saw it wrong. I don't know, 22, something small, evidently. But yeah, I guess it's, you know, either they leave a trail or it's just ridiculously well hidden, um, you know, in the style of what you see on NCIS and, you know, shows like that where it takes geniuses to figure out how it all, how everything happened, where stuff is hidden and all that. I would also say the ending, it, I mean, some people are going to argue that it's not Hollywood because, you know, the lead dies and the good guy dies, and that is true, but the the very last bit of the movie is just as corny and Hallmark and Disney and shit as the opening of the trailer is, you know, and it's just, it's almost too much with the, you know, I don't know, it just, um, you know, them walking out together in bright light, it just, I thought it was excessive, and again, I really felt like we needed more resolution on some kind of, you know, that a trial was being started, something. I mean, all we got was the the two discs that arrived um, at the, yeah, I think it was the cops or maybe it was the press, I don't know. Also, was it maybe a little bit weird how they kind of like humanized the press, how they, you know, the, the one reporter is, you know, how, uh, uh, you know, asks and he's like, is your boss just an asshole since you're here so late? And the cameraman lowers the camera and she's like, I'm sorry for your loss. What was that? I... Okay. I, I don't know. I get it. You know, leaders of private corporations who do shady shit are the enemy, I guess, and the press and the cops are friends even when they abuse the law. As long as they don't take kickbacks from the shady company guys. Oh, and PD PTSD is just made up because it makes money. Yeah, I may need to think a little bit more about it. But yeah, it just, it wound up being too black and white. Uh, I mean, for all of the abusing the law he does, we're still never really like against him or you know and the bad guys are the bad guys the the company and, and the you know Bennett the two hit men guys and um, also why was the the doctor person just staring at him I mean he walked in and then he just stands there mask in front of face and just stares at Mel for like two seconds before Mel hits him what was that Staring contest? I don't know. Also, what the hell was with the the car when he, um, you know, he smashed his way out of the window of the, um, what exactly were they going to say if they had found him there on the john? Oh, okay, I guess the door being locked really means that it's, sorry, we didn't see anything, we'll go in. What the, well, seriously. Anyway, I mean, they didn't even, like, I don't think they knocked and like waited for a response, anything. Anyway, what was with the car? I, th I think I kind of saw the, um, at least the, one of the front wheels had a flat tire, I think. And the, the like the windshield was, had, was partially smashed. What was that? Was that supposed to signify that he had done something that would make it, I don't know, I don't quite, um, I don't quite get it, um, why he, um, and, you know, also, why did they stand there for seconds and just stare towards him instead of just getting straight into the car, I don't know, I guess for dramatic, um, purposes, I don't know.